What's up, everybody? It's the RCL Men here. Welcome to a new podcast, a new weekly show called the Supernatural Corner Podcast, where we talk about all sorts of supernatural things. Now, I personally am not super into it that much, but this lady over here, as you can tell by the way she looks, uh, uh, very much into supernatural stuff. So we're going to try this out, see how you guys like it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just let her take it away. Hey guys, so today we are going Serena, by the way. Yeah, my name is Serena. <laughs> um, so today we are going to be talking about ghosts. Ooh. We're going to be talking about orbs, funnel ghosts, apparitions, and ghosts in general. Okay, I don't okay. know anything. I'm kind of like the skeptical at this point. Like, I don't really... He's very skeptical. I don't know if I believe, but then again, I did. Because there is some sort of like evidence somewhere, you know what I mean? I, I don't know, if, but yeah. I so. mean, I believe 102%. Okay. Okay, so just saying. I don't know. <laughs> There's some things, like I don't want to go ghost hunting, even though I have went before, because what if a demon gets me or something, right? You don't want that. I don't think a demon would get you but what is a demon scared of me because i'm so big no, you know what it is? no i just i don't i don't see you going into a house and being like demon yeah i, w- I definitely demon. wouldn't go into a house and be like demon yeah i wouldn't do that I'm, I'm i'd probably saying. go to the fridge i'm honestly. just saying all right okay so the first thing we're gonna say is what is a ghost so what is a ghost to you a ghost is a floating apparition it's a it's a thing it's a it's a haunting i don't know what's a ghost what's the technical definition of? A ghost? well the technical definition is a spirit of a person who has passed that's what i should have said yeah that's yeah. what you should have said okay i mean makes sense so so <laughs> dead person it's a dead person well they come in many uh shapes and forms and that's why we're going to be talking about orbs and all that okay uh just to give you a gesture of what ghosts are okay other than just the typical, yeah, in Hollywood, right on movies, it's yeah. all like just it's all like, they're gonna Ooh. kill you. That's all it is, and that's like I mean, why it's not I don't kill like you. Ghosts. Most Hollywood movies, I feel like, are more demonic. Um, gonna kill you. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, guess gonna, gonna kill, kill you. you. <laughs> so. But we will not be talking about demons today because okay. I do not feel like demons are ghosts. Okay, uh, ghosts to me are from humans, and demons are not technically humans they're fallen angels but that's a different subject for a different that's day that's a different episode <laughs> so episode depending on your six. beliefs no, I don't so, know okay. so we'll definitely be covering that in the future but for now we're going to be talking about ghosts okay? okay all right all right so, so what's the where, where do we go from so here? we're going to start with the basics okay. we're going to start with orbs break it down for me all right everybody seen orbs anybody seen orbs have you seen orbs orbs are just orbs like like you if you ever see <laughs> they're just orbs like what is it like the typical like ghost hunting show right there's always like i always think it's dust i just think it's like <laughs> flecks of dust just flying by the camera and they're like oh it's an orb so oh most people see that too right. and they also they do see little specks that they think is orbs and it could be dust or bugs and when i go in looking at mm. things like that i go from a scientific thought what could it be is it a light from outside from a car beam you know and try it's to dust. roll out everything but an orb is a solid light dust. it it's not dust. <laughs> okay. It could be see-through. It could be white. It could be blue. Some reported green. Um, okay. But most people say that they're, you know, of course, the soul of a human or an animal spirit traveling from one place to another. Like different dimensions? Or like, well, we... that's a story for a different time. Okay. <laughs> but um, Episode 7, dimensions. Yeah, dimensions. No. Right. no. <laughs> so definitely like um, that's the way they travel. Okay. So it, it's an easier form of energy um, to transform into. So to travel. instead of being a full blown apparition, apparition, it's just yeah. an orb. It's just an orb. Now you said this is easier. Do they have a choice? Do, do they? Does the does well? I'm not a ghost, say, so I can't tell you if I have a choice or not. <laughs> um, and nobody can really get that straight answered. Okay. But from the ghost community, it's more like. It's, it's just, just easier. easier to do because okay. their energy, it takes so much okay. to make okay. that they kind of just use that to travel. But you usually don't see it. You usually catch it on camera or video. Okay. Most people don't see it with their own eyes. So we have orbs. So we have orbs. Ghost one, orbs. Ghost one. <laughs> so then we have um, what's called funnel ghosts. I've never heard of a funnel, like funnel cake. Like I know, like, I thought of funnel cake it? when like, I when I, I was ta- when I was doing research on this. How did ghost taste? I, Put it in I, the comments. How did ghost taste? I know. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so 
funnel is just like an orb. Okay. But it's long and it's like a beam of light. I've never. We have pictures. Okay, you have a picture. Yeah, I have a picture right? of it. Okay, we'll be because posting. I have never seen. A, I've never even heard of that. But okay. so it looks like a beam of light. Okay. Um, and they say usually you will see this kind of ghost in a resident of a home. Um, and it could be either the past owners or a past resident who used to live there. But most people believe that it's loved ones coming to visit them. Okay. Basically, mainly loved ones. So, but I see, I figured, now I don't know anything about ghosts, but I figure that in the house, you know, it's like a past owner of a house, that would be like what I call the like apparition thing. I don't know if apparition is one that you'll get to or something. So we're going to talk about that after okay. the final ghost. Okay. Maybe we'll wait for that. I just feel like that's the typical one that you think about. And I, I've, like I said, never seen a picture or anything about So when you see ghost. the funnel ghost, it's going to look like an orb dragging. That's okay. all it, it looks like oh, a long okay. right. light. So like a, like a orb, but with tracers. Yeah, with tracers, okay. but it's a right. solid tracer. Okay. Um, and sometimes they do form what's called a tunnel. Okay. So, <laughs> so Shut you will, so you will have <laughs> the tunnel, the funnel ghost. Okay. And then with that would brings us to move on to the next one, which is apparitions. Okay. We were just speaking about that. So what an apparition is is the form from the orb and the funnel ghost become the apparition, which then becomes a full body apparition. Now this means that it forms itself. And that you could see it, but it's not solid. So it looks like a figure. Uh, it could be an outline of a mist. Um, you could actually see faces and arms. But most of the time, people do not see a full figure. They the, usually see, like, from the, the feet up. Yeah, from like the top up. So what you just said, I don't, I don't know if I heard correctly. Yeah. It sounded like what you said was mm -hmm. when a funnel and an orb love each other. And <laughs> that's they, not that's, what I said at all. That's what it sounded like you <laughs> <No>. said. <laughs> so when you have the orb, it's transitioning into the funnel. Oh, so these are almost like steps. They're almost like steps, but the okay. funnel ghost and the orbs are two different things. Okay. But they both can transform into an apparition. Okay. So okay. that's when you see what you thought was your friend in the hallway and it okay. was really a ghost. So, you like, know. Like to, so like just... Your spirit, you travel in yeah. orb form until you get to where you want to get. Exactly. And then when you want to spook somebody, you become. When you want to manifest yourself, you go you're super like, saying, Here okay, I am. I got you. Boo. All right. <laughs> so. So we're talking about like a stepwise. That's thing your almost. steps. Okay. Yeah. So, and then it comes down to mm -hmm. what kind of ghosts are there out there? Okay. Now I'm not talking about individual ghosts. Um, they're all underneath a, ga a category. Okay. So. Uh, we have four different categories. Okay. Okay. Now, we do have our residuals, our intelligence, we have our poltergeist, and then we have animal spirits. Okay. Can we start with animals? Because I never heard of animal yeah. spirits. Yeah. So, we could definitely start with animals. So, animal spirits are, animal of course, animals who have died yeah. and come back. Yeah. Um, and when they come back, most people hear... Dogs barking or cats meowing okay. or things their animal used to do, knock stuff over, okay. and they can see them uh, in a mist form or like their apparition. Okay. Uh, sometimes people will even go as far as seeing horses on the road. Uh, wow. That's why okay. you hear ghost horses, you hear clacking down the road. Or you'll hear people saw a black dog miss in front of a truck at late now, night. I've heard about the black dog. People, or from what I've heard, the black dog is like a trucker. If a trucker sees like a black yeah. dog, like they're going to die soon. That's like a... Well, that's uh, a whole that's other it. story for okay. a different day. All right. I'm just saying <laughs> but, that's, that's what I've heard. I've heard of that it could be a, a, a dog apparition uh -huh. um, that they are seeing. So that's kind of what animal spirits are. I've heard of it when I was a kid, you know, mm. that not all dogs and cats make it to heaven. <laughs> so they could stay around and protect you okay. or be around you and, and you'll have an animal okay. spirit. Like, I like how I'm skeptical, but I've heard all of these things. Yeah. So I'm like, yeah, kind of me, you know, I'm, I'm at like, you know, 90% not true, but 10%. Okay. And I'm like 105% <laughs> like true way. and 10% not. You know? <laughs> well, you know, we'll so, maybe one day we'll find out. Hopefully not. 
I mean, if I do run into a ghost, let's have it a cat first. Let me baby step. No, (laughs) just start with a cat. (laughs) That's right. Yeah, start with cat ghost. It's fine. Of course, I don't know. We don't have pets. They don't know. I used to be a professional ghost hunter, so that's why I love ghosts, and that's why it's my first topic to talk about. I'm not an expert by far, saying anything. So if you guys hear anything wrong, I'm not saying I'm 100 percent an expert. So, let's go ahead. What was after uh, 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 animal spirits? So, we're going to go ahead and talk about the other easy one, which is the residual ghost. Okay. All right. So, what does residual ghost sound like to you? It sounds like uh, that would be one in a house somewhere. That would be like some ghost chilling in a house somewhere. (laughs) I don't know. So, you're kind of close. So, residual ghosts are... When something has happened dramatically or traumatically. Mm-hmm. So if anything very good has happened all in one spot. like so where a lot of emotion yeah, has happened. Like in a, a ballroom. Okay. Or if there was a tragedy like a murder mm-hmm. or something like darker that mm-hmm. I don't want to say in front of the camera. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> if something bad happened something or bad. something really good yeah. happened, um, what happens is the spirit dies. And or the human dies mm-hmm. and it doesn't know that it's dead and it's in a loop. So this is uh, somebody, a spirit who is mm-hmm. in denial, basically. Not in denial. Okay, so residual. Um, so I actually looked up the definition of this, and it's more of an, an energy that is from an event that is trapped and now imprinted into the atmosphere where it happened. Okay. So. Uh, they are not intelligent, which mm-hmm. means they they're not intelligent ghosts. They can't talk to us. They can't okay. interact with us. I almost think of it as a a song playing and repeat okay. over and over again. So, say they were murdered, they will be murdered every day of their afterlife. That's some kind of hell. I don't like. Yeah, that. Uh, That's they a bad will idea. I don't like go that into idea. the steps of mm-hmm. how it happened. You'll hear doors slam, doors close. That sounds now scary. they they physically can't move anything, mm-hmm. but you'll hear it. You'll hear them whimpering and crying. Now, if it's a, a good event, okay. you will actually hear music. Um, like, like kids. Short laughing. story, real quick. Okay. <laughs> Mom and my mother and my father actually ran in an apartment that was haunted. Oh, is that what that yeah. story is? And so when they ran into the apartment when it was haunted, they had the top floor, which they were told not to go up. But one night, they heard chairs sliding, music playing, women laughing, and decided to go up there anyway. Well, when they went up there, there's nobody up there. Nothing has moved. There's just dust. So that's kind of a residual spirit. Okay. So that's, that's gotcha, pretty I much gotcha. a residual okay. spirit. So then we have intelligent, and yeah. then there's one more. Poltergeist. Okay. But we're going to go with intelligent first before okay. I get to poltergeist. Okay. Okay. So intelligent ghosts, what do you think about when I say that? That's a scientist who's died. <laughs> it's right? a scientist. And he's trying to make rockets or something. I don't know. Why can't he be a mathematician? He's a mathematician, <laughs> and he's trying to work out. Pythagorean theorem or something. Oh, that's a big know. word. I don't know. <laughs> well, anyway, I don't so, know. It's, it's a smart person. Intelligent, <laughs> I don't think it's smart. intelligent ghosts are when somebody who actually dies comes over to this world and they are aware. So that is like the holy grail of a ghost hunter's dream, right? Yeah. So that would be more like, oh my gosh, you could interact with me. Like they Casper. Could, they could, like Casper, <laughs> like they could Casper. physically touch you. Okay. Um, and here's the crazy thing. So they're personality before they died Mm -hmm. will travel on with them in the spirit world afterwards so if they come back they're gonna be who they were okay they're gonna if they were an angry person if they were lonely if they were sad if they were happy and the reason why i say this Mm -hmm. is because people mention oh well i have a very lonely ghost or i have a very happy ghost or playful ghost it could be a child and all those ghosts fall underneath intelligence okay. they're the ones that happened to them or that's who they were beforehand yeah. so it just continues over. now some of them know that they're dead but they don't know how or why they mm-hmm. died they're not really understanding it so they will intentionally seek out your intention to figure out what happened to them so that's almost like an unfinished business type yeah deal. almost like an okay. unfinished business but like there's a whole process to walk okay. them over to the other side. Well, it's one thing I'll say about this, what it sounds like to me, because as people, 
you know, you're a person, right? Now, <laughs> as, so. as people, you're supposed to kind of, as you get older, your personality will change. Yeah. And, and so, but what you're saying is they are permanently stuck in that personality. They don't go through that change. They don't go through that. I mean, like it if depends. they die a child, if you they die don't, a child, you, you don't, die a child. You don't, you don't grow up. Like you're forever a child. Like because they're intelligent, I guess in my mind I'm thinking, oh, I'm a ghost. I'm, I'm, my personality would maybe still change. No. But, okay. No. So you're intelligent ghost. It's just called intelligent because they can interact with you. Okay. They can move things. They can spice things up for you. So okay, that's, that's kind of your that's <laughs> interaction. I never thought about that. The the personality changing because, like I said, as you grow, yeah. your personality changes. But you're saying the intelligent ghost. Will not change their personality. Yeah, they're in not going to change. So if you were mean, if you were like really mean, you cross over mm. and you're still you're still going to be throwing cups at people. Yeah, you're still going to be like, oh, what is this? And just slap it off. Get out of here. Get out of here. All right. But they like to intentionally scare you too. So that would be like so, the movie ghost. So that would be like okay. Sort of. So here we come upon the poltergeist. But before we go to poltergeist, there are negative ghosts. Okay. Okay. And the people do consider some negative ghosts poltergeists or demons. Um, They are not. They could just be intelligent spirits who are just very grumpy who passed over. I know this is a subject for a different time. But if there were, Mm -hmm. because remember, I'm skeptical. If there were these negative ghosts, right? Right. How would you tell the difference between that and a demon although this might be something for another so we'll get into that after i tell you about the poltergeist because okay. it becomes yeah, a little bit more do even worse, confusing. Right? so okay so poltergeist <clears throat> and what i have done research on myself mm-hmm. is that they are a spiritual being that some scientists are even say saying that they are part of spontaneous psychokinesis what is that? Yeah, so that means that they could come from you. The po- but some scientists are saying that your negative emotions and whatnot yeah. manifest. And this it, weird and this thing. is gonna sound bad for the women, and I'm sorry because I'm a woman too. But they are saying that women who do <clears throat> pass through puberty can cause poltergeist activity. That's weird. Okay, yeah. so if you're going through puberty as a girl, it's possible you might cause some crazy poltergeist stuff activity. So. But I've never heard that. People before, who believe right? that poltergeists are ghosts, mm. it is a supernatural being. We are not sure if it is human or not. We know mm. it's not a demon. It's this different type of species. But species. this one, it <laughs> yeah. is. All right, all right. But species, it is. It's very. It. It's very violent. Okay. Um. It. The word poltergeist is actually a German word that came from, from noisy. It means noisy uh, sound. Okay. So. This means that it is noisy. It's very loud. Oh, it will yeah. bite you. Yeah, it will bite you. It will scratch you. <laughs> okay. It's very violent. Again, it, sounds like a demon. And it does sound like a demon. And this is where it gets very confusing uh-huh. because most people don't know if a poltergeist is just messing with them or if it is a demon. Um, there are processes like no and things that you tell. can do. Like, I mean, there might be, but I just feel like. That's such, they're so closely, like their behavior is going to be so close that it's going to be. But there's several types of poltergeists as well. You have a liquid poltergeist that messes with water. What? You have a fire poltergeist that messes with fire. What is this, Avatar? I know, you would think so. (laughs) So you have electrical um, poltergeist who messes with your electricity, your plug-ins, your lights. This um, is, that's crazy. There's okay. a whole, there's several different types of them. Do they have a ground type as well <laughs> and a fighting type? I mean, they actually do have a ground type that messes with the earth and shakes the earth as well underneath your home. So, uh, that's okay. That's weird. So most people believe like that poltergeists are more specific to a person or an object. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's where it gets confusing because some intelligent ghosts are like that too. So you really wouldn't know if it's a poltergeist unless it really becomes aggressive. Because even the angry, intelligent ghosts do not go as far as poltergeists do. The only confusing part would be the poltergeist and a demon. And a demonic attack. You wouldn't really know which one you would have. You would honestly have to bring a priest in there. Well, you would actually have to show a video to a priest. And this is kind of on the demon subject, and I will recap this on the demon subject. But you have to show a video to the priest. The priest has to send it into the Vatican, and the Vatican have to bring a priest out 
to come and exercise your home. It's a whole process. <laughs> like a whole bu- bureaucratic process but just to get your Usually the difference exercise. that you can tell with the poltergeist that I know of, first of all, sulfur. That's a demon. If you smell sulfur, mm-hmm. a lot of people would disagree with me on this, but I've done a lot of research and I'm being in the field myself and seeing and experiencing sulfur can mean demonic. Okay, if you smell any sulfur in your house, if something appears that wasn't there before, mm-hmm. sulfur, demonic. That's weird. <laughs> scratches. Poltergeist can scratch you. But most of the time, three scratches is demonic. Poltergeist oh, don't have okay. three scratches. Yeah, look for three. Okay. That's the bad one. Yeah, three well, poltergeist knocks. Poltergeist is bad already. Poltergeist but... can knock on the door. Okay. Three knocks is demonic. So if you look it up, if you have a case, you could definitely go look it up and see the difference between a poltergeist and a demonic activity. Again, I'll touch up with demonic activity later on in the yeah. show. We, we, there's, there, but this is about ghosts. <laughs> so those <laughs> but, are your types of ghosts. Okay, so those are how many types is that? Was that like so there's seven? Four, four, four types. Four types with subcategories types. and everything. Yeah, each of them branch off like a tree. And that's okay. where people get confused. They're like, oh my God, do I have a ghost? Do I have a demon? What do I have? That's so, very, very informative. Definitely. Uh, well, do we have anything else for this episode? No, that's about it. Right. Um, so well, this is our ghost show. Yeah, so this has been the first episode of what is it Supernatural, called? Supernatural Corner, Corner Podcast. Podcast. That's what it is. <laughs> do you have a ghost story? If you do have a ghost story, put it in the comments. Maybe we'll discuss it in the next episode. I mean, okay? I would love to read it and know about what happened to you and your experience. She'd like to read it. I'd probably just be like, cool. I don't know. He probably would. <laughs> I would read it for sure. All right. Well, that's it, everybody. If you liked it, like, subscribe. Come back next time. See us every Sunday and let us know in the comments what you think and if you liked it below.